Hi, I'm Bob Osterlin. I'm a senior principal storage engineer at Nuance Communications, and welcome to SC17. Beckham Spale User Group is um, a community-sponsored effort. It's been in, in, in existence for about five years. We have uh, chapters across the world now in USA, the United, uh, UK, Australia, and it's a forum for spectrum scale users and developers to exchange ideas, get problems solved, uh, share information on techniques, and, uh, and grow the community of knowledge within spectrum scale. Uh, the spectrum scale user group covers a wide variety of topics in our mailing list and in our meetings. We cover the introductory uh, things, the, the new users of spectrum scale, asking how to do things, how to do setup, but we also cover the tough technical questions on, on problems users are seeing and sharing of techniques and procedures as well. Spectrum Scale 5.0 is a sort of a continuing on the uh, path that IBM is into enhancing the Spectrum Scale product. Some of the new features that, it, that I'm more excited about is the enhancements to transparent cloud tiering, uh, which gives us the ability to move data to lower cost tiers, either on-premise or off-premise, and also the file audit logging, which gives us insight into data usage patterns and uh, tell us how our users are using our storage. Scale 5.0 uh, helps, helps us solve the problems of data growth. In other words, we have not only at Nuance, but other locations, other companies, have a problem with data growth, and we need to be able to manage that. It gives us a cost-effective implementation using transparent cloud sharing to move that data to the location that we need it and then bring it back as soon as it's needed in real time. Hi, my name is Bob Murphy. I'm the VP of Marketing at ArcaStream. Welcome to SC17 and IBM's booth. We're really excited about IBM's Spectrum Scale 5.0 version coming out. Uh, we're especially excited about the new RDMA performance and functionality. We see a lot of our customers moving to a bifurcated data model with very, very fast flash, and RDMA supports that with the new NVMe technology coming out. And then object storage, like IBM's uh, cloud object storage, where people can take data that's very hot and very uh, in, in play, and then after a while, after a couple days, a couple weeks, that te data tends to cool off, never to be used again. And, uh, but it always wants to be kept, and uh, the cloud object storage is a great way to support that. We use IBM Spectrum Scale in our solution, um, and we have three areas of innovation and um, value add over the base core I IBM Spectrum Scale that our customers uh, really appreciate. We've developed a lot of software uh, on top of Spectrum Scale. Spectrum Scale is a very powerful, um, flexible uh, technology but it requires a lot of expertise to uh, deploy and to operate. And for example, one of the software uh, technologies that we uh, developed is a Python API on top of Spectrum Scale's command line interface. And uh, that allows uh, our users, our customers, to uh, interface and operate Spectrum Scale through a familiar Python interface. And we've actually uh, used that uh, technology to combine various existing IBM Spectrum Scale capabilities into new capabilities. For example, uh, IBM Spectrum Scale can scan its internal file system very quickly. And um, uh, we can take that functionality and use that combined with uh, the IBM Spectrum Scale snapshot capability to uh, actually deploy a very uh, cost-effective, uh, simple uh, DR capability to copy data from one site to another very quickly. So you'll have a, a complete replica of the data uh, inherent in our solution. It's a very rock solid solution that uses IBM Spectrum Scale and our value added software and then uh, the way we dial everything in for that specific customer. Then our last area of innovation and, and value add is that we s support that customer's environment. We know exactly what that uh, environment is. We developed uh, tools on top of the Spectrum Scale to support that environment. And so we, uh, ha the customer has direct expertise to someone that knows exactly who set up that environment and all the uh, ins and outs of their workflow, all the way from the disk to their application, which is very unique in the industry. Usually people stop at the, at the storage. And again, most of the uh, problems that we see customers having is in the networking and application part of the solution. 
Hi, welcome to SC17. My name is Keith Ball. I'm a senior HPC engineer with Redline Performance Solutions. So we provide a, a range of, you know, really the whole gamut of HPC services. We provide um, deployment. We provide, uh, you know, that includes installation of hardware as well as software for compute and storage. Uh, we also provide services for networking installation on InfiniBand as well as troubleshooting. Uh, we do uh, engagements that are, are long-term contracts uh, to support our customers for our system administration and application support for HPC and weather apps. So uh, among the several uh, you know, new and exciting features in Scale 5, uh, I think one of the most important for our customers is the ability to have large uh, block sizes in their file system, but more sub-blocks, which allows them to write at finer granularity. Um, you know, every single conversation we have about setting up file systems uh, there's this, this idea of trading off uh, higher performance with a large block size versus wasting of space. Right? Uh, we have the single namespace that really extends across different data tiers, different data sites, uh, as well as between on-prem and cloud. Um, they also have a policy engine that is unmatched uh, in competing file systems and the ability to have scalable metadata, which is very critical when you have very high usage in your file system. Thank you again for stopping by and we'll see you in Dallas next year. Thank <laughs> you.